The learning route, a collaboration between Procasa and the Farmers' Organizations for Africa, Caribbean and Pacific Program, FO for ACP, empowers farmer organizations with strategies to invigorate their businesses and enhance their organizational capabilities. The curriculum explores core development strategies, internal processes, best practices, and reshaping the trajectory of rural associative companies, offering valuable insights into effective solutions. Over the course of five intensive training days, participating farmer organizations from St. Lucia will engage in analysis and discussion workshops, as well as visits to prominent organizations like the Miku Chocolate Company and the Black Bay Farmers and Consumers Cooperative. General Coordinator of the Learning Route, Maria Jose Araya, says that this program is focused on elevating the businesses and associative capacities of small rural producer organizations with a dedicated commitment to enhancing the incomes and livelihoods of organized smallholders and family farmers in African, Caribbean and Pacific countries. Farmers' organizations are a key element in the development of agriculture at national level. So we need to enhance their performance in order that they can become more productive, they can do better business and they can also offer better services to their members. In this way, we hope that farmers' organizations can be more vibrant and can lead and have a very key role in the development of agriculture. Chief Executive Officer of Export St. Lucia, Sunita Daniel, expressed her thoughts on the program during the opening ceremony, emphasizing its alignment with the sector's needs, particularly in terms of export standards. The beautiful thing about this event is that in South America, for example, there are very strong um, farm organizations. They have a history of strong farm organizations. And for them to be coming now and sharing those experiences with us here, I think it would really assist, um, for example, the Bellevue farmers, who will possibly one of the top farm organizations in St. Lucia had gone defunct. And I know that there are moves towards re-establishing the Bellevue farm organization. So. Um, all of those things are really important and really timely because not only our markets are expanding domestically, but they're also expanding internationally. And if you have farm organizations who can increase production and increase the way that they do business, it only augurs well for the farmers themselves. Deputy Director of Agricultural Services, Camille Jabatis, explains that this program is aligned with the Ministry of Agriculture's mandate to enhance food and nutrition security. He emphasizes that this alignment is particularly fitting as the ministry is actively pursuing the objectives of CARICOM's 25 by 2025 initiative, which aims to reduce imports by 25% by the year 2025. One of the pathways that is absolutely necessary in order for us to make that happen is to ensure that we have a, a, a functional producer cooperatives, that we have active, vibrant producer cooperatives who understand the plight of small farmers, who understand that we have to be able to represent smaller producers, who understand the need to bring those small producers so that we could benefit from, from, from terms of trade, so that we could benefit from scale. And so it is really good to know that we have FAO, AICA, PROCASA, the Ministry, the EU, all these agencies are partner and partners are coming together to ensure that the, the, the experiences that other uh, producer organizations have can be shared and can be used uh, to strengthen moving forward. The Agriculture Ministry enthusiastically extends its ongoing commitment to embrace initiatives like the Learning Route Program, which are dedicated to improving and elevating the agriculture sector while enhancing the livelihoods of farmers and rural communities. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.